I'm Christine, and today we're gonna to be talking about funny books. The books that make us laugh, that bring us all of the joy. Specifically, the ones that have brought me all the joy. I'm gonna be recommending them to you. The funniest books are the books that make you laugh when you least expect it. I'm not wearing any pants right now. You should always trust a person who's not wearing pants. Literally, I'm in my underwear. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. They're in no particular order because it's hard to gauge exactly how much I laugh. It's not like crying. It's not like, okay, I was blubber. I couldn't breathe. It's not like that because you don't laugh nonstop in a book because it won't be funny. It's just that's not how comedy works. The first book I have to show you today happens to be our August book of the month. This month we're working with Random House and that is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. I can't even with how funny this book is. It's about a girl who has severe anxiety issues and her trying to work through that and living with her family. I cannot tell you how many times I was listening to the audiobook. Damn. I'm doing laundry and I'm in hysterics. And of course it has its dramatic moments. You need those dramatic moments to hit hard with those funny moments. This is my first Sophia Kinsella book and I am so pleased. All Sophia Kinsella books are supposedly hilarious and I believe it. I'm excited to just read all her books now. Next! Any book by John Green. Now, I'm holding Tiffios up right here. Yeah, you're seeing right. Sad things happen in this book. But the beauty of John Green's writing is that literally, I am in tears one page, and then the next page, I am laughing out loud. It's rare to see that in a book. If you've been avoiding these because you think they're sad and depressing, especially Paper Towns. Paper Towns is not sad and depressing. You should read Paper Towns. I love John Green's writing. It always makes me laugh. Yes, a lot of strong morals and life lessons run through them, but they are also hilarious. You're probably going to be surprised. Just trust me. Next, I have books by Colleen Hoover. Now, I know what you're thinking. I start off every Colleen Hoover book talk discussing the idea that she has a tragic event in every single one of her books. But just like the John Green thing, you're wrong if you think it's gonna be sad because if it was, I wouldn't love them as much as I freaking do. Her writing is beautiful and moving and deep and has sad, sad moments. But in those other moments, I laugh out loud reading these books. I cry out loud sometimes, but I laugh out loud and that is what stays with me. The least funny of these, I would say, is definitely hopeless. The most funny? Point of retreat, maybe? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of sad things that happen in them, but the stuff that surrounds the sadness is fun and beautiful. So read Colleen if you haven't yet. I know so many people hold off on books because they think they're just gonna be sob fest, but I wouldn't love a book if it was just a sob fest. I like books that give me all the feels and make me lol. And lol, I did. <laughs> I guess I am kind of going on a gradient now of funniness and less sadness. Next up, I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, which I don't have a book talk for. I will forever hashtag regret not making one, but I was at VidCon when I read it, so it was hard, okay? It was difficult. It is so good, and it has those sad moments, not as sad as John Green or Colleen, but deeper moments is just so much fun. The whole book has fun moments. There's this list of things that her friend that has disappeared left her to do and the list is fantastic and it's a coming of age story and so many fun things happen and there's so much fun dialogue and I love it. I love this book. I lost the dust jacket. I'm really upset about it. Every time I show it on camera it just looks like a dark blob. It's not. It's since you've been gone. I lulled. I cried. I hugged. I felt warm and fuzzy. It was beautiful. Don't be going into Second Chance Summer or Amy and Roger's Epic Tour expecting to lull your head off. It's a darker tone. If you're looking for laughs, I definitely head for Since You've Been Gone. <laughs> Rainbow Rouse books. Oh my goodness. I laugh, I cry, I relate. I love them so much. The funniest of these books, I'm gonna say, is probably either Landline, Attachments, or Fangirl. Eleanor and Park has more sadness in it. Let's just put it down. I love Eleanor and Park, but that is the saddest of these books. Attachments, I chuckled more than laughed, but there isn't as much darkness at all in Attachments compared to some darkness that we get in Fangirl. I don't know. They're all great. You want some clever, relatable, comedy rainbow rainbow it up i definitely say that some books are more cutesy than funny and you look at these and you might think these look more of a cutesy than a funny but you're wrong they're cutesy and they're funny separately it's not like oh it's funny because it's cutesy it's not rainbow is funny these books have everything good i can't wait for rainbow's new book 
Next, I have Rachel Hawkins, who has written Rebel Bell. Now, I have yet to read Rachel's other books, so that's why I'm saying Rebel Bell. But just from the way that this is written, I believe her other books most definitely must be funny. And I know you're looking at this cover being like, that looks like the girliest book of all time. But you're wrong. What it's like is a superhero book. It's like Spider-Man. And Spider-Man was a girl. And it's the first one when she just gets bit by a spider. It's pretty much lighthearted throughout. It's just funny. It's self-aware. <laughs> next, the next, they have a book that talks about like a gazillion times. Yet their title still tarnishes their reputation. And that is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I don't know how many times I've spouted this little spiel, but these books are fantastic. They are hilarious. There are six books. Our main character is so funny and she bounces off everyone around her in such a great way. There are dark parts. It's called Vampire Academy, but nothing is so dark that you're not gonna be laughing at something that Rose says in the next chapter. These books have a good plot and good characters, but the thing that had me so invested was Rose. She was endearing, she had a ton of character development, and she was f***ing hilarious. Read Vampire Academy. I don't know why you're waiting. I know why you're waiting, because you think it's stupid and the movie flopped, but no. This is one of those series that is also really, really cutesy. It's cutesy funny. It's almost cutesy funny, but it's so funny that it walks the line of just cutesy. It's not like Rainbow Row where it's divided cutesy funny and it's definitely funny. These are really cute and giddy, but also funny. They're more girly. Vampire Academy is not girly. If you're a male and you're judging them because there are girls with their hair blown on the cover, no. These are definitely more girly. They're by Jenny Han. It's called To All the Lois I Loved Before. And P.S. I Still Love You. I laughed and smiled and giggled and just had so much fun reading these books that I can't not put them in my lol worthy books video. Like I lolled a lot. She was stuck in this really awkward situation and it was funny as hell. Hey, we're getting down to the last two. These are my favorite ones. I saved them for last. These are the best. The first I'm gonna show you is Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is the middle grade series. It's told in first person. They are so Fun. If you have any interest in the Greek gods, you're gonna love these. The way that Rick puts the gods into this story gives them personalities. It is beautiful. I laughed so much. I love Percy. I love Percy Jackson. This is the Heroes of Olympus series. The spin-off older Percy series is told third person instead of first person. These books are so clever. They're so funny. They're full of adventure. They're wonderful. <laughs> The last series I'm gonna share with you today is my favorite. It's my favorite of all time. I've never laughed more than I've laughed with this author. This is the first time I've really read a story that is just as funny as I feel amazing plot-wise and world-wise. The characters are hilarious and witty and clever and the best in the world is also the best. The Shadow Hunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, which includes the mortal instruments and the infernal devices. I absolutely adore all of these characters. I know you're looking at it. Christine, you've never talked about these books before. I have no idea what they're about and they don't look funny. <laughs> I specifically remember reading City of Gods for the first time on the beach and just laughing my head off and being there with my friend Jenna and she's constantly just looking at me like I'm crazy. This book is hilarious. Leave me alone. Avi, these books have darker parts in them. I mean, it's a fantastic fantasy series. There are dark parts, but that doesn't change the fact that the characters are wonderful and hilarious humans that you want in your life. You want them in your life. Genius blend of hilarity and world building and wonder. The lols, man. The lols. And that, my friends, my top 10 right now in my life, lol, were the book lists. Stories that made you feel, but made you laugh a lot along the way. Those are my favorite. I'm a lover of comedy, so my favorite books end up being ones that make me laugh a lot. If there are any books that you found hilarious that weren't on my list, please share in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Christine. All my social media links are in the doobly-doo. -doo. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! I showed you them too early. You didn't see that. They don't look funny. <laughs>